welcome to our youtube learning channel accurate asme iso this video is a part of series to solutions to industry measurement challenges in this video we discuss the challenges for gdnt tolerance of symmetricity symmetry versus position will be clarified in complete detail in this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel and share with others let us begin now it was a big surprise to industry when asme y14.5 2018 version was released and it was found that in that version two very popular gdnt symbols were removed from the standard and one was concentricity another was the symmetricity it is now more than 45 years from first time when concentricity was included in the version asme y14.5 in 1973 and symmetry was officially included first time in the version 1994 if concentricity and symmetry is now not available then what are the alternatives to address the controls very prominently it is said that and suggested alternative controls like the position and run out are there we will see in this video if we can use position instead of the symmetricity let us define what is a symmetricity the extracted median surface refer to a specific surface that has been calculated as median surface that median surface shall be contained between two parallel planes which is 0.08 apart means that this surface will be located between two planes that are exactly 0.08 units apart from each other these planes are symmetrically disposed about the datum a indicates that the distance from datum plane a to each of these two planes is equal ensuring symmetry around datum plane a in a very simpler understanding it means that median surface median surface is a calculated average surface will be positioned between two planes that are evenly spaced 0.08 apart and these planes are positioned symmetrically around datum plane a similarly position of a slot is defined here extracted median surface refers to a specific surface calculated it must lie between two parallel planes that are 0.05 apart these planes are positioned symmetrically around the theoretical exact position of the median plane this symmetry is with respect to datum axis a in a sense each feature has its own calculated median surface which must be positioned between two planes that are evenly spaced 0.05 apart these planes are placed symmetrically around where the median plane theoretically should be with respect to datum axis a let us try to find the relationship between symmetry and position with different documentary evidences in asme y14.5 2009 version following statement was seen for the positional tolerance the statement says a symmetrical relationship may be controlled by specifying a positional tolerance and the datum feature may be specified on mmb lmb or rmb basis depending on the design requirement therefore this clause clearly indicate that a symmetry may be controlled with a position tolerance let us find 
द सिमिलैरिटीज बिटवीन पोजिशन एंड सिमेट्री टॉलरेंसेस बोथ ऑफ द फिगर्स एज बिलो एंड डेफिनेशंस आर रेफर टू जी डी एन टी स्टैंडर्ड आई एस ओ वन वन जीरो वन द कंपेरिजन इज शोन फॉर ए रेक्टेंगुलर स्लॉट फीचर इन बोथ द केसेस एक्सट्रैक्टेड एक्चुअल मेडियन सर्फेसेज कंटेंट बिटवीन टू पैरडल प्लेन्स विथ ए टॉलरेंस वैल्यू गिवन अपार्ट दीज टू पैरडल प्लेन्स आर सिमेट्रिकली डिस्पोज अबाउट द डेटम therefore both the definitions are exactly same and we can say that position and symmetry both the tolerance are same with basic dimensions as zero value let us see what is written in the iso 1101 about symmetry and the position uh, about symmetry specification the tolerance feature is either an integral feature or a derived feature integral feature is a feature which is like a plane a cylinder like that and derived feature is a feature which is constructed out of any two or more than two features for example a line between uh, two surfaces Uh, that is perpendicular surfaces intersection could be a line that is derived feature the nature and shape of the nominal tolerance feature could be a point a set of points straight line a set of straight lines or flat surfaces in short in iso the symmetry is recommended to specify for any of the features like point holes surfaces slots etc and very importantly a symmetry specification can be used in all cases where a position specification can be used provided all the relevant linear theoretical exact dimensions are zero it means symmetry can be used or can be specified in case of the position specification also provided there should be the basic dimension must be zero whatever the discussions we have done up to this slide is mentioning about that the position tolerance and the symmetricity tolerance can be used vice versa provided that in case of the symmetricity when used as a position there should be the theoretical exact dimension or basic dimension must be zero so when we refer asme y 14.5 2018 where concentricity and symmetry symbols have been removed and which would help us to use the position instead of the symmetricity and all these relevant statements from the both the standards iso and asme we have seen okay so what is given uh, in the asme is just we will see with focus on making the transition from the previous edition to this edition simple no reversal of tolerancing concept have been made however two past practices use of concentricity and use of symmetry symbols are no longer supported so this is given in 2018 version both have been eliminated because other characteristics provide more direct control of features and establish requirements that have a well defined uh, the meaning so uh, the reason it is given here there are more clearly defined tolerances like the position in place of the symmetry if we do it it is well defined and having a well defined meaning so deletion of the symbols does not leave industry without a means of means to control coaxial or symmetrical feature but it does eliminate the confusion that surrounds these symbols and then their uh, misapplications and the standard itself mentions that removing these two symbols doesn't mean that 
the option is not available to the industry uh, to control the coaxial features like the concentricity and the symmetricity. In fact, eliminating these would also eliminate the confusions around the industry and the understanding about the concepts. So we can say that we can uh, use position instead of symmetry very well. Now let us take a very practical example of a symmetricity given on a drawing of the shaft. So shaft axis is a datum A and the QA slot is controlled for the symmetricity 0.8 tolerance with respect to datum A. Now let us see that if we measure this slot as a symmetricity and as well as with a position tolerance then what differences we can see now let us discuss the procedure or SOP for the measurement of the position when there is a symmetricity symbol is shown on the keyway of a shaft so first uh, do measure cylinder and make it as a primary alignment it becomes y-axis maybe because the shaft is along the y-axis of the machine then construct a midpoint at bottom and inner side of the slot then construct a line passing through the midpoint which is constructed between two points and which is passing to a cylinder axis so a line is perpendicular to the cylinder axis and it is passing to the midpoint so this line becomes a secondary alignment let us say this alignment is z axis alignment now make origin cylinder in x and z axis because the axis is in y axis then construct midpoint at top and front side of the slot as we have done the previously at the bottom side then measure position of this point and nominal x and z should be given as a zero basic dimensions because the symmetricity is a zero basic dimensions Now if we compare the results of the symmetricity or symmetry and the position for the same point measured on the uh, shaft with reference to the axis of the cylinder and results are 0.0366 is exactly same for both the controls and the conclusion can position be measured in place of symmetry so absolutely yes we can hope that you have liked this video with very easy and simple explanations you can comment how do you see this initiative and suggest more on upcoming videos also we are pleased to conduct training programs at your locations in factories. We offer 
Acom Germany, an international CMM certification course. Basic of GDNT. Advanced GDNT. Stack up tolerances. Surface finish. MSA and other quality tools. For further details, please contact us. And I'm sure you will encourage the initiative of training through YouTube by subscribing a channel. Accurate, ASME, ISO. Thank you and have a good day. I have just done with the tra uh, training of stack up analysis and GDNT with uh, AY Momin sir and uh, talking about my experience it is not about just training but it is workshop uh, sir will make uh, make you to solve your own problem by by yourself so that will that will be the uh, best experience uh, throughout the training and uh, he j uh, not just give us the formulas to solve uh, solve our problem but develop a logic within us so that we can have an approach to solve the problem and that is that is what the best about this training